Alzheimer's disease is ranked as the seventh leading cause of death in the United States and is the most common cause of dementia in older adults. Changes in the brain may begin a decade before symptoms appear. During these early stages of Alzheimer's, toxic changes are taking place in the brain. You have the buildup of amyloid plaques and tau tangles. You have chronic inflammation, you have decreased blood flow to the brain, and all of these changes lead to the death of brain cells, which is why people die of Alzheimer's disease. Photobiomodulation has a major effect in the brain in particularly helping reverse and stop many of the changes that lead to Alzheimer's disease. So check this out. It reduces and reverses these plaques and tangles. This has been thoroughly researched. There's lots of studies on this. It's, it's very exciting. It does this primarily because photobiomodulation helps people sleep better. And when they sleep better, their brain has a chance to detoxify. That's when that happens is when we sleep. Secondly, we know that photobiomodulation reduces inflammation in the brain. This is one of the most reproducible effects of red light therapy, an overall reduction in inflammation. And it's particularly helpful not just for brain injuries and brain inflammation, but in joints, lung disorders, inflammation across the board in the body. Red light therapy also increases blood flow to the brain. It does this because it causes the release of nitric oxide. That's one of the effects of photobiomodulation. Nitric oxide dilates blood vessels, and that dilation has been studied up to a 40% increase in blood flow to the brain. That is significant. It's why it works so well. Finally, photobiomodulation is neuroprotective. This light energy is absorbed by the neurons and it's converted to metabolic energy and it gives the cell the energy it needs in order to heal and recover from the damages from inflammation, toxic buildup, lack of blood flow. It helps it recover. Kind of a broader spectrum of how photobiomodulation helps the brain and is important with things like Alzheimer's is that it increases high level cognitive function like learning and memory. It activates our global networks in the brain. So we have networks in the brain that are dominant when, like when I'm doing this video right now, there's the uh, get ready to uh, talk on the video network that gets all these things organized. There's networks that are dominant when you go to sleep, networks that are dominant when you're just daydreaming. So all of these networks in the brain need to be organized. In many diseases like Alzheimer's, the body has a hard time switching between each network. So people have trouble sleeping, they have trouble concentrating. It activates these and, and helps people think clearly and use their brain. So when taking all of these findings together, it's clear that photobiomodulation is a powerful therapy in the prevention and treatment of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. This therapy has no real side effects. It's not expensive. It's not difficult to do. I highly recommend it. From a functional medicine approach though, we don't stop there. We ask the questions, why is the brain inflamed? Why is the patient not sleeping well? Why is the brain toxic? Why is there poor blood flow? See, photobiomodulation is a help for all of these things, but many of those root causes have causes. So people can have toxins, say, uh, aluminum toxicity and Alzheimer's is a real connection, but there's other things that can be involved in that. When I get a patient that's having these kinds of problems, we're looking into their history, we're asking the questions, what could have gone wrong, and we're running tests to find out if they have any of these root causes and we fix them. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I think this is really exciting stuff and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you or someone you love can benefit from it. Thanks.